So it's a bit windy tonight. May not be able to wear me. I'm just doing a little test run. A few shots with the little doohickey that I've made for the bike, for the GoPro. No, you can't see much down there, but I'm going to be changing the positions all the time. All this stuff here, I don't even know if you can see anything. It's all new, but newly built in the last five years. This was all big orchards. When I, when I first moved here, this was all green fields. I, This is what it was like before where all those houses were. It was all nursery stuff like this. I said it was windy a minute ago. Look, this branch has just come down on the road. I'll be a good Samaritan and move it. So this is the flat Rhine Valley. It's very rich soil because a lot of the, uh, you can see in the distance over there, that's an old volcano there. And next to my village is an old volcano. So it was volcanic earth at one point. And because we're in a flat Rhine Valley, you dig down three meters. It's full of pure water there from the ice melting in the Alps coming because all this was a big lake once and so that big lake still exists but it's underneath so it's got really top quality water not far down and all this stuff around you can see here this is all for garden centres it's a tree nursery So maybe if you go to your garden centre, quite possibly, you might be buying something from here. There's a field of barley or something, some sort of cereal, wheat mix, wheat. That's the ice train. Well, they've just built a new bridge on this railway line. It looks like it's closed, but it looks like them cyclists are getting through there somehow. I've been working on this bridge for about six months just to build a little bridge for this track. Unbelievable. It's quite picturesque before. I hope you believe in investing in the infrastructure here. There on the right we've got maize, sweet corn, but not sweet corn, cattle feed maize, chicken feed maize. And most of these trees are I sold all, all over Germany to councils, you know, and a council needs a tree for 
for uh, somewhere to get them here. So that was the autobahn. <clears throat> Too hectic there for me. There we have fields of corn. On the left we've got corn, barley. I'm not that good with cereals. I know it's not oats. All that stuff there you can see growing. That's tobacco. That's where they grow the tobacco for Marlborough cigarettes and camel. Funny to think all them cigarettes come out of a field, isn't it? Nicotina. I was thinking of trying that on my aphids. Getting some tobacco and putting in a bit of water, steep it, and then use that to spray on the insects. Must be a deadly poison, I think, for them. More trees, I'm not sure what they are. Uh, yews, baby yew trees. Yeah, yeah. Probably looks a bit weird. I'm just trying out the angles. If I do that, probably looks weird. Just drive into the next door village to me and we'll have a quick look there. Quite a headwind. Now you see what, what it looks like. Little bits of nursery garden, bits of allotments, cherry trees, plum trees, apple trees just like general agriculture. And that's what that, this whole area was before, but this is all gonna be built upon soon. So, you know, anyway, them old codgers saying that was all green fields. Well, here's the green fields, which will be gone soon. Now you can see it encroaching. It's a shame really, because like I said, they've got the best weather here and the best soil and the building over it all with horrible houses. That's all new stuff here, built over the last year. That's two years. Unsustainable, isn't it? Or is it? Can't just build over all the farmland. There's a place called the Prince and Garden. Prince's Gardens from some old prince. There's the church up there. If 
funny little garden here, all these margaritas. I call them tagettes here. Or student blooming, student flowers. Some nice lettuces there, I wonder what they're growing them for. This little house you see here, they uh, dress that all up to make it look like a gingerbread house at Christmas. Got special panels they hang all over it, looks quite good. So I'll just go up to the graveyard and then we'll come back down through the main centre of the village and then go back home. That's a pal of mine. Died last year, he used to play bass. Good lad. That's another mate of mine, English guy who died here. Only 50 odd. Great blues player. Used to make music with him. Now you know you've laid roots in a place when you've got mates in the cemetery. Flowers are looking nice on his grave though. A crack in the tree and they've built a sandstone wall in there. There's a nice twisted walnut tree here. This is the old Baroque church. Long way. I see up on the roof up there, two stalks in the stalks nest. They come every year those. See who can put the most flowers out. And the, the town give them pots and soil to a special price. Let's go into the old mill.
That's my doctors. I like how they've got them flowers going into get your head feeling good. <laughs> <laughs>